Hello YouTube, viewers, listeners, uh, this is a 10 minute preview from one of our much longer interview episodes. You can find the links to this episode and the rest of our podcast in the description below. Liking this video really helps us out, so we appreciate every single one of you. Well, not Dave, he didn't turn up for this little intro piece, but I do. As always, be good, love you lots, until next time. Chopper, Mr. <laughs> Chopper, sir. <laughs> Hello, you all right? Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, God, sorry, we were just chatting shit. Good. Like, we, like we always do. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, I'm not going to lie, Chopper, it's it's weird speaking to you and hearing you speak back. <laughs> What's up, man? All good, man. All good, all good, all good. Just used to watching you stream instead, you know, it's weird. Bro, I haven't streamed in a while. I know, I was checking, I was checking the stats. May was your last one. Yeah, it's kind of a while ago. It was, yeah, a few months. I was half expecting you to be in the event of the weekend. I didn't turn up for it, unfortunately. Well, yeah. lucky for them, eh? Lucky for them. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, this is the fucking attitude we get. It's just, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm fucking good. And what? <laughs> nah, I ain't like that. I'm just messing. Oh, uh, no, we know it. That's what this episode's about, dude. That's why we've got you here to, to help us. Because we keep <laughs> fluffing our shots and potatoing all over the place. So we need some tips. Uh, depends what you try and prove, really. Yep. See, Andy, but- right? Andy is an absolute. He's like John Wick. When he's hitting zombies and he turns into the water boy when there's a player around. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Isn't that right? laughs> you. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Oh, dear. Um, where are we? I don't know, I'm actually going to tone you up a little bit. Who'd have thought? I can usually like to fuck him off, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> Lovely. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. So we'll just crack on then is there any questions you want to say or anything you want to ask before we start no sounds sounds good to me man i'm chill cool dave did we, we didn't think of a friggin icebreaker ah uh, uh do you have a long memory <laughs> a long memory yeah oh no this is uh, gonna be horrific no it's no. not it's not well I, uh, when Andy used to dabble in a bit of streaming, he ran into a said bloke at his base and he uh, jumped in a car ride with him. Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot about that. And it just so happened to be you. Wait, what? In your heyday. So, <laughs> so, so, right. This happened ages ago. We were on the Northern, well, I was on the Northern Highway just at a petrol station. And I think you'd driven up in a Saka to come and... Uh, fill up some gas and mm. I think I had like a chest or some shit in my hands I was like I'm fucking dead to write some you didn't you stopped and you spoke and that and I was like oh fuck hiya I knew it was you because I'd been watching you for a little yeah. while and, it, it, um, it rings a bell it definitely rings a bell I think it was it was during Covid right because I asked you questions for quiz night, things I could come yes, up with. Yes, it for was. Quiz you were getting, you were getting, you were getting questions from him for quiz night, which was happening the next <laughs> night. And, <laughs> and, and you, then you were dead, giving him some weird answers, like like you really <laughs> trying to chin him off, like a weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you were definitely asking chat as well because you were like, "Let me think about that for a minute." <laughs> <laughs> I found some fun idea. Yeah. <laughs> and then I asked you how many hours you had and you were like oh maybe like 300 and I was like fuck you <laughs> why are you lying for bro yeah that, that does sound like me I was like you know the map far too I was trying calling you out on it and you were like yeah whatever <laughs> so <True>. anyway <laughs> oh Dave I thought you were going to ask him what his favourite C was oh yeah what is your favourite of no, the seven C no, no joking <laughs> don't answer don't answer it don't answer it that's a good icebreaker that one <laughs> yeah. oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it's the really same not. joke every day. <laughs> I still <laughs> laugh every day. Fuck. Get some new jokes, Dave. I can't. So dozing. Just uh just to start this off, it's like a little pre thing. It's just like just just go through your game in history. What is your what's on your game in C V that we should know? Uh so I started off at like CS one point six when I was like seven, eight on my uncle's PC and then uh, I'd be playing Xbox, PS4 for a few years after that, all, all the way through high school. And then I went into the army for a bit. And then once I left, I got into Daisy. And around, well, it was, it was, I was in the army at the time. And I, had, like, when I was playing Arma 2 and, and Daisy, but not so much. I, I picked it up quite a bit up until 20, 
2017, then PUBG got released, and I was playing both of those on the same time. Uh, uh-huh. And then, yeah, 2018, um, I decided to go pro in PUBG, qualified for Worlds. And then I played in Pro League for a few months as well, did like Worlds, did Pro Leagues, did uh, a few different LAN events and all across the world. Um, and then I retired at the end of 2021. Um, obviously, at the time, I was playing a lot. Mainly, I was just playing with, like, with Tobe and stuff on Daisy. Um, we used to play for years. And then mm. uh, I started streaming a bit. And then I kind of paved my own path and then did, did like, uh, started doing YouTube at the end of 2022. Um, and then, yeah, here we are. So, uh, what cut badge were you? Uh, cut badge? Oh, I was Welsh Guards. Oh, Welsh Guards. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. And I was, uh, RAMC. Oh, nice. Yeah. Here we go, listeners. We've lost him. Just, no, no. We're... Just skip forward 10 minutes if you don't want to hear it. All right. <laughs> carry, on, carry on, boys. <laughs> no, no, no. He's just, uh, the Welsh Guards. Last time I knew they were posted at the back of Perbright. We, yeah, it was Perbright last time. That's where I was based, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, just behind you at Keo. Oh, really? Uh, near Aldershot. Yeah, that's my last. My last posting was Sandhurst, but um, yeah, that was uh, Aldershot Keo. I've uh, done Friendly Park Hospital, which would have been your local. Oh, true. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people you find that play uh, like the Bill Sim games and stuff like Daisy and stuff have a lot of a military background. So, so a lot of like mm-hmm. uh, gamers I come across, loads of them. Andy gets bored because me and Andy are old school friends. <laughs> see. Um, he knew me before joining the army, so he knows how much of a dickhead I can really be. <laughs> He's always been weird. <laughs> yeah, always been a right dick. But yeah. <laughs> so you spoke about your competitive history, Chopper. That mm-hmm. was one thing I did want to speak about as well, because, yeah, you did, I mean, you've done a lot of PUBG. Did you say you did something else in competitive as well? Uh, I've done PUBG. Um, I start off with Valorant. I could have gone pro on that. Um <sighs> I played the first couple of tournaments and when Valorant was released, I could have gone pro, but I decided I just wanted to relax and do, do content-based stuff. Uh, there's a lot of stress in esports. Yeah. So what, what was that like? Like PUBG, I loved PUBG back in the day, but never, never like, mm. well, any good at it, let's be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. What was that like playing it on like competitive level? It's, honestly, it was a lot of fun. It made the game a lot, yeah, a lot more fun. Um, at, like naturally with battle royales, there's a the drive to win. So when you put it in a more competitive environment, environment, and there's uh, more stuff on the line, um, it becomes even more fun. A lot of stress, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Shit, did you win anything? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I've uh, we've got back in the NA qualifiers for Worlds. Um, did seventh in Worlds, and then um got fifth in pro league qualifiers and then yeah. and fifth again in pro league qualifier finals then did pro league itself top eight so yeah decent decent run that's amazing man that's yeah. amazing do you miss it uh sometimes but not yeah. not enough to want to compete again no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a young man's game it's not even that it's just um just way too much like stress but like the reward out of it in my opinion yeah well, a bit yeah. like the army. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what like got you good? I guess because you know we're here to, you're here to talk to us about like tactical play, PvP, being, and we'll, we'll go on to that a little bit in a minute like, about the DayZ side of it. But your skills in DayZ aren't learnt in DayZ, are they? PvP wise, they're learnt from outside in other games like you say CS and and PUBG. But where did you like hone your craft? I'll be completely real. Um, no. Like you don't really get good at Daisy by playing Daisy in my opinion. No. Um Daisy is a very uh, I don't know the right word. Very it's an old man's game, I'm not gonna lie. It's is the best <laughs> way to put it. It's a, it's not like I said that with um ill intent or anything, but yeah. um the game it's slow, like, isn't the game, it? It's not even that. It's like the game mechanics at its core are very clunky. Um the the, the settings you have available to you as a player is very, very prehistoric, in my opinion. Like, they need to update that a long time yeah. ago. Um, there's no consistency with mouse movement because the, the actual, like, sliders don't work properly. Um, so there's a lot There's a lot that uh, leaves to be desired when it comes to AZ. So I'd say, like, the best way to learn is other games like CS. My game was Osu when I was playing PUBG. Um, mm. Just, like, like aim training as a whole is, is always good. Like, it uh, builds muscle memory, and that's what gets your consistency up. But obviously, with your time in the infantry, your comms were key. So um, you learned that through your gaming as well. So did you find yourself more like section commander level, like taking control, or did you just, are you just a BOD member, or are you, are you just... Mm. 
Yeah. Um, no, I was, um, I was more like a section lead for sure. Um, always have been. Um, and then when I did pro PUBG, I was IGL as well. So um, I've always been, yeah, like naturally put in, in command. So usually I'll just lead shit. And it's, it's just easier for me because I know I, I can read situations very well as why I'm I'm as good as I am, I think, in my opinion. is is not even like the aims there, the, 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 the consistency is there. But in my opinion, what brings it out is um, just being able to read situations as a whole. I know what's happening before it's happened. And that's how that's, that's how, in my opinion, like I get away with things.